Slayers. I'm the world's coolest Sega enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64, and welcome to a special, special video. So today you can see I have a package from Banggood, which is like AliExpress or like eBay from China. And so, uh, yeah, I've got something. I got something for my birthday here, and uh, we're gonna open it up. So I, I ordered this way back in um in March. Oh, and I should also mention Martian is on the camera. Almost forgot. Only got one attempt. So I ordered this way back in March. And you know, when you order something from China, it takes a while to get here. So uh, this is something super cool, man. It's super cool. And uh, I'll tell the backstory behind it in a minute. But once I get this uh, main package and open, once I get the package and open, I'll tell the backstory behind it in a minute. But before then, we just got to uh, open it up. Hey, at least they packaged it securely, somewhat securely. I'm just going to take it out of the shot because I want to look at it real quickly. Okay. Get this foam off of here. Okay. Oh, man. They, they really didn't want anything to happen to this. I commend them. Oh, well. Maybe I don't even have to do that. Right here. So some of you might recognize that logo. Some of you might not recognize that logo. But what this is, is something called the Pal Kitty X18S. It is an Android-based handheld, a next-generation Android-based handheld that can not only emulate uh, N64, Dreamcast, blah, 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 all that stuff, but GameCube and even PS2, and potentially some Wii. So I got this because I wanted to play around with it, and I was originally supposed to get the AYN Olden, but I decided to get that for Christmas and get this now. And uh, I'm going to have to take it off camera real quick because I can't open the tape because I'm, I'm weak. So give me a second. I uh, have to cut this tape off real quick. And I, I really cannot believe I got this. I really wanted this so bad. And um, it's super cool to finally have it. So i uh, cut that tape really quickly. That's some strong tape. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. And I, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to play all the things it came with. I'm not opening the manual. I don't need the manual. Well, let's open the charger here. And you can see this one, there was an original X18S model, and I'll show that in the video. I'll show the X18, um, the X18 original model, a picture of it here in the video. Did it I'll use type it in. C? Yeah, but now it uses Type C. It used to use micro USB, but the X Kid, the Power Kitty X18S uses my, uh, USB Type C. So, uh, let's open it up here. Oh, it's white? Yeah. The, the new Power Kitty X18S is white, and, uh, Nice quickly, like nice BS? quickly bought things. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So you can see it has, uh, you have your uh, two L and R buttons and your trigger buttons here. Now there were original reports that the, the original reports that these trigger buttons had got stuck on people. Uh, mine clearly aren't stuck, but up here you have an uh, a HDMI port, a USB Type C, and a micro US a micro SD What's card. Was that mini HDMI? Uh, yeah, mini HDMI. And uh, funny enough, I have uh, if I can find it, I have a micro SD card here. That I just sought somewhere and lost, so I'll have to find it after I get. Oh, here it is. A micro SD card here worth 32 gigs. I'm gonna up. This has 16 gig, 64 gigs of storage. I'm gonna upgrade it to uh, 32 gigs because that's what I want. And uh, we're gonna open it up. Three, two, one. And uh, here it is. The Power Kitty X18. Uh, you see, you get two analog sticks. So here they are. You get one, you get, they don't have L3 and R3 functionality, so they're just analog sticks. You got buttons right here, you know, your A, your X, your B, your Y, you got a D-pad right here, and uh, this D-pad, from what I hear, is terrible and doesn't really work for, like, fighting games and things like that. You can't pull off diagonals with it, which, you know, I'm not going to be playing too many fighting games on here, though, but it is still a pity that you can't, you know, use it for fighting games. We got the analog sticks. Uh, start select your Android buttons, power, blah blah blah, all that stuff, and you got a nice big Power Kitty logo, logo here. So, uh, yeah, that's really the Power Kitty X18s, a uh, super cool console. And I'm gonna do an update video on this later on where I actually show more of it off. But first, I'm gonna uh, flash it with cool software, and um, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna flash it with Lineage OS. So if you know what Lineage OS is, well, I'm gonna because this comes stock with Android 7, but it's a crappy Chinese version of Android 7. And it's not cool, it's not good, and it doesn't run well at games. So I subscribe to Black Seraph's Patreon, so that way I can uh, take this and uh, you know flash it with Lineage OS. So that's gonna be super cool, and uh, yeah, that's basically how I'm gonna do this. So um. Yeah, thank you for tuning into this um super cool unboxing. It was cool to do something like this. I've always wanted to do it. And uh 
like I said, there'll be an update video when I get done flashing this thing. But uh, if you're new here, if you can subscribe, that'd be really awesome. We're trying to reach 300 subscribers, and you'd be helping us out a lot. Make sure to share this video with your friends and become a super slayer. Thanks to Martian again for recording this video for me. I've been the world's coolest Sega enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64, and until next time, have a good one, Slayers. Thank you.